Okay. Now that I'm halfway through the bowl and really pissed off. Did a whole first impressions video. Now you guys that are presenters and people that do YouTube videos, you know how much you know timing it takes, how much time you know, distractions, family. You you know, but you may not always have the time to make these videos, or may not even be in the mood. You know, I do my homebrew videos, I do the pipe reviews, you know, cigar reviews, tobacco reviews, whatever. You know, my channel is all over the place. You guys know it. Captain Bailey's Adventures. Life is an adventure. I record whatever half the time. Ah, so I just did a whole opening of this tin note, first first light, everything, and for some weird reason, my camera just took a fritz on my my, my Apple iPhone there, and only recorded like three minutes, and then I got up and it did record the the first five minutes of the, of, the, of the video for some reason. I thought it was recording. I was talking to myself, I guess. I don't know. It was weird. It made the ding like it was recording, but then it didn't save the video. It did some weirdo thing. Like, when I hit stop to go, you know, to, to take care of my son, he was asking me something. I stopped the video after I did my first tin opening and, and, and initial aroma smells. Took care of him. Hit record again and did char light and first impressions. And I was talking for like 10 minutes. It only recorded four minutes of that. And the previous video was nowhere to be seen. Not even on the delete section. It, it's nowhere on the phone. It, so like, I don't know what happened. Weird. I'm hoping this is recorded now. But so let's get down to the nitty gritty because I'm not going to redo it all. What you get? So, tin note, nuttiness, chocolatey notes, no Virginia. It's, you're getting, you know, the Virginia's are there, the, I guess it's the light colored tobacco. Ribbon cut, it's Captain Black, but it's burly forward, okay? getting that chocolate aroma you're getting that nuttiness from the burly so it has that to, for, to me I can't pinpoint what I'm smelling it, 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 in my mind it reminds me of some sort of confection is the right word like a candy some sort of nutty caramely candy type thing and that's the, the nuttiness from the burly so it's very burly forward it's burly on the aroma so, you know, you're not feeling, I'm not smelling any hay notes or any of that from any Virginia at all. Burley. So, and you know I'm not a burly guy, but because now that I've been smoking on this, to cut my review down, um, the Virginia is there. It's adding a sweetness to it. You know? There's a sweetness. You're getting the burly, the, the same aroma that you smell is what you get on the, uh, the room note. Okay. But now I'm getting down to the bottom, so it's changing. But halfway through the bowl, the beginning of the bowl, you're getting that room, the, the aroma from the pouch in the smoke, which is good because, you know, a lot of times when you have an aromatic, half the time you get, you, you don't smell the tin note when you start smoking it. Half the time it burns, burns off or, or, or just disappears but with this it's really good um captain scale five finger hugo scale um i on my other video that i did already and said it's already three and a half three and a half stars because it's burly forward i'm not really getting to virginia this is no way or near comparison to anything to peterson's sherlock holmes brand at all which has Virginia and Burley. That must be more Virginia forward because this is Burley forward. It's, it's Burley. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm not a Burley guy. But I'm not going to knock this too bad anyway because it is sweet. There's a sweetness there. I'm having a pleasure smoking it. Um, but what gets me is 
they call it platinum, right? You have Captain Black Gold, which is the gold. I think that I think that's. I don't know if that's a Virginia Cavendish or I forget. I forget what's in the gold. But now this is platinum. The platinum is supposed to be higher than gold and better. Would I consider this a platinum? Not really. Not to me. Not 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 to me. So, I mean, would I put it on my rotation? Probably not. I mean, I gotta give it some more. They remember, this is first impressions. But, I mean, compared this to regular Captain Black, I'd rather have regular Captain Black, to be honest. I like the, the sweetness, the marsh, it has that, to me, a marshmallow esque type aroma. Wait, this is a good all day smoke. It's very light. You won't get a tongue bite. At least I'm not getting one. It seems very very easy to smoke. Call mom and dad. So, yeah, it's good. So get, give it a go if you want to try something. Um, yeah, like I said, for me, three and a half. Probably won't get it again because I could, you know, I, 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 you know, I prefer regular Captain Black or Captain Black what? Cherry. I haven't tried, I don't know if I ever did try gold. I've tried their Captain Black straight black. And I've tried the royal. And for some rare reason, my father just had purchased some royal. And I had packed a bowl when he brought it over. And I don't know. I liked it before. It had a, I used to think it had like a vanilla in the type es essence to it. But I was over, uh, unimpressed this time around. I don't know if they changed. I don't think they changed anything. But it's been a while since I had the ro the royal, and I always liked it. I bought it several times in the past, but this time around, my mouth didn't. You know, I really didn't find. It. I found it very uh, underwhelming to me. But this is weird. I like it had has that nutty note note going on there all the way through the bowl. Yeah. So, I mean, this would it was a longer video, but you know, oh well. But uh yeah. Give it a go. Try it. Three and a half stars like the captain said on his scale. So uh not a few burly guys would would like this. I mean it is burly forward because they like said the tin note is straight up burly. That's what I always get when I have, you know, on a bookshop or any of those straight burlies, I smell that chocolatey uh, essence with, with nuts, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's very overly top case with something. So, but it stays lit. I don't, I don't even think I even lit this more than once. Besides the char light, I think, yeah. So it doesn't burn well. Mm. Yeah, it's enjoyable. I like it. As a first impression, I'm liking it. I'm not not liking it, which is a good thing, because then I got my money's worth, you know? So and it was cheap enough. I mean, they, they were running on um, pipes and scars are running 15 15% 15 off, so you can grab this. I don't know if I paid five, six bucks for it. I think normally Captain Black is eight or nine now. 850 or 875, I forget what it is, but it was 15% off, so it was cheaper. Yeah, so it was worth the pickup. I didn't break the bank, and I'm not to where I'm like, this is bad, I'm, I wasted my money, you know, and I have to smoke it now and force myself to smoke it. I've done that so many times. Pay, a, a, you know, a pit bought very expensive tobaccos and not impressed at all, and I'm just smoking it to get through it. You know, in other tobaccos that I thought I liked the first time around, smoke re revisiting them, I didn't. So it was like, again, it was like a waste of money because I'm like, okay, I liked this the first time around. Now I'm not. But I guess we go through changes, you know? But then you know what to spend your money on, right? So uh, I'm g getting off the cuff here anyway, so let me go. Smoke what you like, like what you smoke.
kill the ants when they're around. <laughs> and until we do it again, my friends, remember, let's set sail. Okay. Before we go, I know I canceled out the video, but I'm, I'm just going through my, uh, my jars here. That's some Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic that's left. This to a T. I, could, I couldn't figure out what it was I was smelling. This is Sir Walter Raleigh, just Captain Black version. FYI. Sir Walter Raleigh, either original or aromatic. Because, I mean, I know the aromatic has a top note, but with this burly, so it might be Captain Black, um, it might be Sir Walter Raleigh original that this is comparable to. Or it could be the aromatic, because I'm smelling the aromatic, I'm smelling that same chocolatey nuttiness going on in whatever, the little scrippets I have left up here in this jar over here. So FYI, it's, you know, it's the, it's Captain Black's version of uh, Sir Walter Raleigh, or Sir Walter Raleigh uh, aromatic. So let you guys know, buyer beware, if you want to try it out and see for yourself, please, YTPC, anybody else out there, you know, give it a go and let me know. And then come back to this video and leave me a comment. I'll keep an eye out on the people that I'm subscribed to, and we'll see uh, if any of the, you guys post up videos of this 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 blend with your take. So till we do it again, I'll see you. Let's set sail.